on July 2nd from Hamburg, Germany. Eight years after the last time, there was a heavyweight super fight that history will remember fondly, Lennox Lewis and Vitaly Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko, Vitaly's little brother, and British sensation David Hay will meet to decide the heavyweight championship of the world. It's been a long, long time since we've had significant heavyweight action in boxing. Vladimir, David, you guys want to shake hands to begin this? Can I get you to shake hands? Uh, you know, you can uh, shake hands. You want to give your hand? I'll, so, I'll no, show, Max, shake give you it down it. on July 2nd. Megs, give it to me. Why don't you want to shake his hand? I'll shake it when the referee says touchdowns at the end of the fight. That's it. Uh, I sense genuine animosity between you two. Why do you dislike David Hay? You know, the man has been talking a lot in the last years, and uh, the way he walks, the way he talks, it all speaks for David Hay. Uh, with earrings, with the flashy flash, the man want to be actually a wannabe. David Hay is a wannabe. That's what is David Hay. In my eyes, and the eyes of a lot of fans too. That's actually his nickname. Yeah. I want to be, I want to be celebrity, badly, and he's trying to make his way. And you know what? I have to give him respect. He did it pretty good. He talked himself into the fight. I mean, however he did it, but man, he did it. But I've heard a lot of things. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Then he bailed out of the fight. Nothing happened. No medical statements, nothing, no confirmation from anything. So now we're sitting together with you and we continue to talk until I will believe into this fight. When I'll see David Hay in the ring on July 2nd. Why do you hate Vladimir Klitschko? It seems like you do. Because he's clearly a dickhead. That's why you heard him chatting just then. Hasn't got a fucking clue what he's talking about. Just yabbering on about absolutely nothing. The fact is, July 2nd, you're getting knocked unconscious. You're gonna be crawling around on the floor like you was against Corey Sanders, like you was against Lauren Brewster. You're gonna get that same shock, that same, ah, oh, he's come to get me. I'm gonna run out of energy because I'm gonna break you down, slow you down, and then take you out. You think you're gonna jab, jab, grab me all night long? It's not gonna happen. I've got a remedy for that. And on July 2nd, you're gonna see exactly the gulf of difference between a, you know, a tremendous little man and a good big man. I had this conversation before with him at the press conferences and all this stuff, but eventually nothing happened. I said he didn't show up uh, on you June, never had an injury. June 20th. You've never, you, you never had an injury before, no? I haven't seen any medical statements. Well, I've still gone if you need them. But there's a lot of lies. Like, I'm going to deliver Chelsea's statement. <sighs> nothing was delivered. How do you respond to Vladimir's charge, which is essentially that you're a liar, that you pulled out of the fight with a fake medical injury, that he hasn't seen the documents? Um, how do you respond to that? If that's what he thinks, that's what he thinks. You know, keep believing that if, that's, if that makes you, gives you some comfort, the fact that you think I'm scared of you, that I'm running from you. Take that with you, go to sleep with that, knowing that I'm scared, I really don't really want to be there, and I've been forced into this fight because you've somehow cornered me, and there's nowhere else for me to go. But if that's what you need to, no, to go I to think, sleep at night, no, then no, go I for think, it. I think you're not scared, because I gave you this chance without... And David, also, as I've given you can, this chance, can, as well, it works both I ways. I can go without David Hay. I could talk about you as well. brother and doing our career. You know, there's little dogs are keep, barking keep, keep. and keep barking, but the caravan keeps going. Enjoy this, you know, lights and cameras. Enjoy this. Enjoy this moment. With the exception of Mayweather Pacquiao, this is the richest fight that can be made in boxing. How does it make you feel when he presents it as though it's only your mouth that's gotten you the if fight? That, if he believes it's just my mouth that's got me here, then he's in for a world of hurt. And I, ho I hope you truly do look at what I do in the ring and not just what I'm wearing or what earrings I'm wearing. If, as, that, as you can judge me as a man by what I look like, so if you're thinking that way, you're thinking real wrong. You've got to realize you're in the ring with someone who's so much faster than you've ever been in the ring with. You can't find sparring partners as fast as me. You punch at the angles I do, single punch knockouts, because they would already knocked you out if there was someone. But so you're going to be in the unknown. Man, the man is the greatest. 
Now, long as long as you're long as you accept, long as you accept it. As long as you understand that, I'm himself, glad. You know that he's the greatest. He's actually he's actually already the champion. He already beat the Klitschko. WWE, uh, you know, and champion of the world. exactly, he's already champion of the world. And uh, uh, you know, he already jumped on dead bodies of both Klitschkos and represent himself with the heads cut off. You're talking and, about the T-shirt. The T-shirt that, that you know he liked uh, David so Hay much. Wore a and, um, let's, let's back up. David Hay wore a T-shirt with holding both of the heads. holding both the Klitschko. Heads, Cut off, yeah. and then you the saw the, bo dead, heads. The, the bodies, and why did dead, that bother you? Dead, dead bodies. That you know, bothered you? That he's standing on the dead bodies and uh, Men's Health magazine. Uh, it was silly. It was uh, bad. It was um, it wasn't. It was definitely below the belt line. Mm -hmm. Definitely below. There's a certain way of promoting the fight, but that's the way that you don't do. There are certain things that you cannot cross, no matter who you are, what you're doing, where you're coming from. What do you, what's your take on that? What would you rather me, what, what other t-shirt, a picture of me rocking, stroking him to sleep at night or something? Why not? You know, I, I want the Klitschko's heads, plain and simple. No doubt. You and your brother. And I'm going to have them. This year, I'm going to have both of them. And that's, that's, what I'm in, that's what I'm in this game for. It would be a shame if, for whatever reason, just the Klitschko brothers end up with all the belts. You know, what, what, what a way to well and truly shit on the heavyweight division. Just have a, a Klitschko whitewash the belts. I can't allow that to happen for the good of boxing, for the good of the world, for the good of the universe. You've got to take them belts off you, boy. Vladimir, it seems to me that if someone's insulting you directly, maybe you don't take it as personally. But with the heads of the Klitschko brothers off, when he started talking about Vitaly, even when he talks about Vitaly now, it takes it to a new level for you because it's your brother. And, well, tell me about it. Is there anything to that? You shook. It's going to be a great fight. Oh, it's going to be a great fight. You can feel it. You can feel it. You can cut it with a knife. Oh, I've got a fucking hard on right now. I'm telling you. I'm looking forward to this fight. I can feel the fire. I can genuinely feel it. All jokes I, aside, I'm not joking. I can feel it. You're, you're interrupting it. again. You could feel he wanted to punch me in the face across the... I could feel it. I was ready to... I did get the that. feeling did you that get, you were ready to throw a punch. I, I, got, you, that same, you, I got that same vibe. He's going to say, he's gonna say he wasn't. He's going to say he wasn't, but I could feel it. My spidey senses were tingling. <laughs> you just were knocked out, dude. You just got up. Is that don't right? You, don't you remember it? <laughs> you didn't see it. God damn, he does you punch did, hard. You didn't feel it. He does punch hard, this guy. That's exactly what is, uh, what is happening. I don't normally see you like this. He shook. I don't, I don't shook. normally see you genuinely angry at your opponent. But here we see real anger from Vladimir Klitschko. Is that dangerous for you? Because that's not generally Emma what look, you're confronted Emma with. Emma look angry? Yeah, you do. You really? look like you, you look wound up. Don't get you're scared. Wound up to me. Don't get scared. Just keep doing your job. But Vladimir, I, I, know, I, need, I need you. Okay, he's, he's, I, he's, I need you. Just keep doing. Yes. Keep you can feel it bubbling. You can feel it bubbling. You're gonna come out of a proper fight for once now. You are that person that you know screams a lot and do a lot and. Uh, like now, <laughs> and uh, trying to, you know, hype it up. Just keep doing your job. Are, are you predicting a knockout? A knockout for this fight? It's going to be. Uh, unfortunately, David Hay doesn't have quality to take a punch. Um, and uh, kind of everything be, can you in life. It's going to be a number 50th knockout. Are you predicting a knockout for this fight? I am. Yes. He thinks he's a, he thinks he's a, a superior boxer than I do. I don't. He's had twice as many fights as I've had. But you know, he's he's got accustomed to doing things his way. He's got customs of people, accustomed to people turning up who is there to get paid, just there to turn up, take the paycheck, go back, not, not, not ruffle any feathers. Now he's fighting someone who he doesn't give a shit about upsetting anybody. I don't care about what I say. I don't care about upsetting people. I don't care if everyone hates me. I don't care if everyone loves me. I just want to turn up and destroy this guy. That's it. That's the only thing I care about. He's never fought anyone like that before. Never. Especially someone in their prime, someone who's not fat and out of shape. Someone who isn't coming off losses, someone who isn't coming off out, who's not injured. You're fighting someone who's ready, ready, prepared to go to war. 
you're not ready for go for war. You, you've never been out of your own comfort zone. The only time you come out of your own comfort zone is when you're getting knocked down and knocked out. That's it. You know, and it, it, this fight, unfortunately for you, is going to be exciting. You know, I know you'd like it to be a snooze fest, you know, the cure for your insomnia like the rest of your fights. But this one is going to be entertaining for once. What are you worried? About what? You're worried. You're pumping up yourself. Um, you know, in a way, it's actually a very funny way, but you don't need to be worried. I'm, I'm accidentally a champion, and, you know, it's like very simple style, jab, jab, grab, and I'm slow, and I can't punch. Uh, if I were you, I will shut just get right? in the preparation. <laughs> Don't, you know, be happy about something that you haven't accomplished. <laughs> anyway, it um, has been uh, interesting and emotional. To, to see David Hay here yeah. in person. And he needs to be taught in the ring how to behave himself. And that's exactly what I'm doing to do. I'm looking, forward, described, I'm looking forward to being taught a lesson. Jabbing lesson. He described, as um, I said, man can't behave himself. And I hope I'll see him in person in the ring on July 2nd. I see him standing over him as the referee's counting slowly, probably. And to by Ken. the way, um, yeah. take uh, let, let me do one more thing. Save for after the fight, man. Before the fight. He has to do that for. Okay. We can do that. That's all right.